Well, tonight we continue our special series, Getting Hired, with a look at a major employer that may not be on your radar. Vandenberg Air Force Base is home to thousands of enlisted airmen, but also hundreds of civilian employees. In fact, the base employs about 1,200 civilians in fields like engineering, firefighting, and administration. Each year, Vandenberg hires about 300 civilians. One current opening is for an engineering technician. It pays between fifty-seven and seventy-four thousand dollars. They're also recruiting for a firefighter who can make thirty-eight to fifty thousand a year. KSBY News reporter Monica Cantero shows us how your career could take flight at Vandenberg. In the mid-50s, the Camp Cook Army base was transferred to the Air Force, and Vandenberg Air Force Base was born. The base is a city unto itself. And keeping it running takes an army of military and civilian workers. The civilian application process is an intense one. It's pretty comprehensive. Ben Roop was hired in March as the chief of pollution prevention at Vandenberg. It took him about six hours just to initially apply. I tell them why you're the right applicant for that, not that you're just, I'm an engineer. Am I a generally good engineer? I like to think so. Am I the right chief of pollution prevention? That's going to take some thinking and, and some... Uh, some portrayal on my resume. Brenda Nichols is a base's HR technician for civilian personnel. The only way you can get a job at Vandenberg Air Force Base for a permanent position, you have to go to the USA Jobs website. The website is usajobs.gov. To find Vandenberg Jobs, you must do a keyword search. And there's something different involved in this application process. You usually have to fill out some type of essay questions or self-evaluation. The application is then screened at the Air Force Personnel Center in Texas. If you make the cut, you'll get an email offering an interview. They're usually over the phone unless you live in the area. Mostly people aren't going to have a face-to-face -face interview, so that's what speaks to you or what these, these documents that you upload to that site represent. As a former Air Force instructor, Roop had one big advantage from the start. If you have prior military service, it definitely assists you with the federal hiring process. If you're trying to make the switch from the private sector, it helps to learn the lingo of the military. Tailoring your resume to language that people here are going to understand is important. Talking with people who work in a similar capacity here to help you identify associative things uh, such as that, I think will definitely help translate that resume and, and give you a good, uh, good advantage. And be patient. The hiring process at Vandenberg usually takes months. Along with the 1,200 civilian employees, around 2,000 enlisted personnel and 600 officers work at Vandenberg. There's also more than 2,500 contractors at the base. Jeanette, Tony. All right, thank you, Monica. And for more information on Vandenberg Air Force Base, just go to our website, ksby.com, and type in the keyword hired. And you'll also find details on all of our featured employers in the Getting Hired series.